Welcome back here with us on NDTV Profit, about 38 points lower. That's nifty for you right now, very close to that, uh, to its lowest point of the day at 8,332. Uh, Sensex is down over 100 points, 27,170. And as we told you earlier, of course, this is coming in from the weakness in the European markets. Let's talk about uh, Bajaj Electricals. That stock is in focus. The stock is up close to 1% in trade as we speak right now at 247 odd rupees per share uh, that's Bajaj Electricals for you um, and uh, the news is that the company has launched a new premium range of kitchen appliances we have the management now joining us to get us a sense of the kind of uh, you know expectation that they have from this new launch Mr. Anant Bajaj Joint Managing Director at Bajaj Electricals is now joining us Mr. Bajaj thank you very much uh, for being with us here today uh, can you talk to us about this new range of kitchen appliances that you've launched and what kind of a business opportunity does it give you yes uh, very happy to be here on your show and uh, uh, I think it's very good monsoons which have started so we thought we should also use it as a good time to launch the platini range of kitchen products which are currently being made available exclusively online and which is uh, basically a couple of I say three categories of products which uh, one is a slow juicer which is against your usual uh, juicer this extracts the best amount of vitamins outside of your I mean out of the juice I mean out of the fruit and uh, similarly we got a, a stand stand juicer which is a, another kind of uh, uh, version which is uh, very well accepted worldwide we brought it to India for the first time and we got a bread maker which will uh, make life easier for the house house ladies so that you can actually enjoy the opportunities and they are very premiumly designed and uh, sort of uh, priced so that uh, we can really create uh, the next generation of uh, customers which would like to get the high quality high price product um, so we are i mean very clearly looking at uh, getting the premium side of the market with our value for money proposition we are trying to upgrade what is value for money to be like because uh, sometimes value for money is considered to be cheap, but we believe if we can deliver what you expect, that is value for money. But sir, in terms of numbers, if you can share some details, what is the total revenue opportunity do you see from this new space? And uh, you know, how much are you likely to get, say, in FI17 itself for this range? Uh, well, uh, right now it's uh, already first quarter has ended, so I think we got only nine months of this year left. So I would. Uh, I would, I mean, whatever number we get will, I mean, not be comparable for a full financial year. But we certainly look at at a level of 50 to 60 crores from these three products as a starting level, so that we can really. Uh, 17 itself, it in yeah, 17. Yeah, yeah, 16, 17 itself, so that we can uh, really build it up as a good product for the next full financial year, all 12 months. So to that extent, and these are very. Uh, niche products but which are definitely going to work well with the people who have been abroad and who are now back in India possibly right. because slow juicer is a very international uh, experience it's not still happened much in India but actually our traditional uh, juice making was in a very interesting way slow juicer which I think sometimes modernization has uh, forgotten some of the uh, usefulness of the tradition so I think that is going to come back through this and that's why we see it can connect extremely well with the young, younger people as well because that's one of the things which Bajar Electrical is certainly trying is to do a very high quality youth connect. Besides creating a premium product, we really want to see that uh, we connect better and better with the younger people of, company, of the country. And that way we really become a more and more favorable brand in their eyes because we still are a very uh, 30 plus, 40 plus type of uh, uh, right. TG actually looks at our product. We want those uh, even probably teenagers to go after the product. But sir, uh, you know, is this a high margin product for your company? Yes, it actually will be what some of the... What kind of margin are we looking forward to with this? Uh, let's put it this way. We, it will be close to 20 to 30 percent higher than our margins in each of the products which are currently in this category. So okay. it's going to be very, very... Uh, highly positioned so that it can deliver one as a good customer uh, experience but also really give us uh, 
bottom line uh, i mean to really take it on and with our right. uh, with our customer consumer side focus i think uh, we'll certainly looking at uh, all the opportunity to make sure the consumer actually goes after the product and that's why right. we made it first introducing it online and then we'll make it available to the trade but do people buy these kind of products online uh, what kind of a response are you likely to see and why just you know uh, av- making it available exclusively online and then probably trying other retail areas well the one uh, the main uh, uh, clincher for us in the deal making with some of the online portals was with the idea that we make something uniquely available to them so that they can also derive some uh, traction on our product but more importantly for us it was important to connect with the e-commerce uh, uh, people because uh, in the sense that uh, there are lots of people who are actually looking for these kind of products but they don't actually find good enough uh, opportunity so this was almost like a meeting an unmet need of the consumer and to that extent we thought it could be a much better option to start off there because I mean, usually trade is not the best place to put a high price product in our category. Maybe in white goods you could do that, but not in brown goods. And to that extent, this is a very good platform to start off. So it's a it's a like a situation where the risk for the consumer also is less because they know exactly what they're buying. Right. And of course, if you buy online, usually you can. If you don't like, you COD and you can return it even before buying it realistically. Okay. So which becomes a very good option and. Uh, I mean the future I mean still is going to be trade but clearly we cannot ignore uh, e-commerce and this is a very important standpoint by which we will be able to capture that part All of the right. market which is for e-commerce All right Mr. Bajaj thank you very much for joining us today and sharing with us the details about this new launch We'll take another break don't go anywhere we'll talk about markets and what's really uh, impacting the fertilizer space today after this break